Hey, what's going on, guys? DJS here. Wanted to show you guys the Jordan Brand Headquarters lobby, Beaverton, Oregon, and uh, the updates that they uh, ended up doing to this lobby that I think is just really, really dope. So they changed it up from the previous uh, kind of decor on the sidelines. Um, they had a bunch of different Michael Jordan inspired stuff on one half, um, and they just totally changed it up. So they, they showcase a different designer in each one of the glass panels now on the sides. So I wanted to show you this and, and I thought it was kind of cool. I think it's really neat how they kind of, they put the shoe in there. They, they have a kind of a story about it, uh, the designer, uh, and the player that he designed for and the, and the sneaker and some, some of the original artwork from this, the mock-ups of the shoe, as you can see right here, uh, this is a Jordan 17. Even has a suitcase in here, uh, which I thought was awesome. It was like the only Jordan that came with a suitcase. They need to bring that back. That would be dope. Uh, but uh, but then in the middle, they always have this center display, which has the Jordans 1 through 18 minus the 15s and 16s because Jordan didn't play in those shoes. Um, but it's pretty pretty ridiculous. Like there, I think just about every one of the shoes are signed by Jordan himself, and uh, they just it's Jordan's shoes. Like it's just awesome. That's my inspiration for even collecting. Uh, in the first place is to have a, a display like that someday in, in my house. Um, then there's the the infamous Tinker Hatfield, uh, the Jordan 11, some original blueprints and and I guess not blueprints but documents if you will of of uh, the designs. And do you see the lawnmower in there? How crazy is that? Uh, but uh, really really neat to be able to see as a fan of the Jordan 11, as a fan of Tinker Hatfield, it's really cool to be able to see uh, something like this displayed for everybody. Um, and then uh, moving on, oh, that was me in the mirror. Did you see me? Yes, I saw my reflection. Oh no, uh, yeah, I don't know. People freak out about that. It's kind of funny. Mark Smith, the Jordan twenty threes right there. The um, Jason Maiden and the CP three fours, which actually is one of my favorite CP threes. Uh, very underrated shoe in my opinion. I really think that if they step up the CP threes, um, and honestly, if they step up the price and they competed, they could compete directly with Kobe. Uh, and I just, I don't know, good things to come, I bet, for the CP3 world. Uh, Jason Petrie, very, very famous guy now. Uh, LeBron 7, his first LeBron, he de designed the rest of them up through the 11s. So uh, that would be a really dope guy to be actually be able to meet and have his autograph as well and maybe do a sit-down one-on-one with that guy. Um, and uh, another just another designer right here from the Shock Stunners. I don't know if you guys even remember those. Uh, those older older people like myself remember those for sure. But uh, but that's pretty much it, man. I just wanted to show you guys the the lobby. Oh yeah, and there's the the Eric um, uh, Avar. I don't know if that's how you say his name. The Kobe Fives. But uh, but they have a whole bunch of just different designers now. I really think it's kind of neat how they they changed it up. It's not all about Jordan Brand uh, in this area now. It's it's about all the different designers and stuff. And I thought that was really cool. And I just took some screenshots or some p images. I'm gonna put these on my website collectivekicks.com for those that are interested. Um, because I think it's it's just one of those things. It's it's fun to share. I don't know. I don't think I'll be getting in trouble for showing you guys. It's it's kind of in the lobby, which is open. It's not in the locked area. But uh, but it's just it was something that I thought that it, it 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 has. I have a lot of appreciation for what they are displaying, and I know for sure you guys will as well. So and I'm kind of showing you guys a little bit more detailed images, and you can screenshot any of these ones uh, for kind of the inspirations and whatnot for the designs and the mockups, as you can see right here. Of, of the sneakers and stuff uh, and this is all from the LeBron 7 and then I'll transition to the to the uh, Tinker Hatfield part because those are the two that, that I like think are the most iconic as of right now for for sneaker designers and stuff um, that was a letter Nike sent him for in 1990 which is kind of crazy but uh, but yeah man hopefully you guys enjoyed this video I just wanted to show you guys this really quick I do have another video that I will be uploading later today for the Collective Kicks weekly recap. I don't know if I'm going to do this one first or the other one first. I'm just trying to get these uh, these videos up and ready. Um, actually, I might I might actually end up posting this on Saturday. It just depends. I don't know what what I'm going to end up doing. Uh, I'm just trying to organize my day. I'm going down to the Beaver game um, on Friday, which again, if you see this on Saturday, I would have already gone. But that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you for watching, and have a good day, guys. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.